Hey there, are doers. My name is Jose Ignacio. It's time to talk about leads and lead management. First off, it's important to learn what leads are and how they're different from opportunities. A lead is an additional preliminary stage that happens before an opportunity enters the pipeline. In other words, before something becomes an opportunity, it is to be considered a lead. Leads help companies distinguish qualified opportunities to ensure they're worth a salesperson or sales team's valuable time. Leads can be used to separate the curious potential customers from the people who aren't going to be actually interested. Now here at Stealthywood, our marketing team is trained to target potential customers through our website, ads, events, newsletters, blimps that we fly. This typically generates a ton of new interest in our company. This is called lead generation. I go into more detail about lead generation in another video, so keep an eye out for that. But the basic idea is we find potential customers, people who show some level of interest in our company, and we record them in our database as leads. From there, we work on growing these leads and all other interests for our business. We nurture these leads. And nurturing leads is essential when it comes to converting leads into actual customers. Once their interest grows, they're ready to discuss a deal, and that's when our awesome sales team steps in. At that point, leads are assigned to a specific sales team and salespeople who then use their sales skills to convert those leads into opportunities and send them through the pipeline until they can ultimately close that deal. Makes sense, right? So enough lead chat. Let's jump into our database and see how all of this works with Odoo CRM. All right, let's kick things off on our CRM dashboard. Now, in order to use leads, we're going to need to activate the lead setting, which will be done by going to configuration and settings. Right there, you see the little checkbox, make sure it's checked off. And while we're here, we're also going to make sure that the lead enrichment checkbox and the lead mining checkbox is also activated as well. Both of those features require the use of Odoo credits, but I'm going to cover all of that later on in the video. Then as usual, we select save up here at the top to lock in those settings. Now, once that we do that, we'll notice a new leads option is available in the top header menu. So let's click leads and see where that takes us. Here, you're going to find a list of all our leads in a default list view. As you can see, we can actually view this information in a number of different ways by using our options in the far right. I'm going to switch this over to Kanban because I love these little cards. All right, now that we've seen everything here, you'll notice that all of these leads are unique and completely separate from the main pipeline. That's because only opportunities are in our pipeline, not leads. So going further than that, let's see what it looks like to create a brand new lead from this page. So to do that, we're going to select new up in the top left corner and get started. Okay, let's say that I recently met with someone who's super interested in our stealthy wood tables, which, I mean, can you blame them? They're pretty amazing. Anyways, with that information in hand, I want to record them as a lead so my team can follow up with them. So let's give this an appropriate title, which is Interested in Tables. Nice little winky face to let us know they're a fun customer. Up next, I'm actually going to type in their name inside of the customer field right here. Adam Samples. Sampleton. Great. And I'm going to select create here because as you noticed, they aren't in our database yet. It should be noted that if you don't see this customer field right away, just switch your database into developer mode. And that should reveal the customer field like we see here. Okay, so I only met this person briefly and I don't have all of their info yet, but that's okay. My sales team can fill in the rest as the lead. Hopefully it turns into an opportunity. I did, however, write down their email address, so we're going to type that in. Really real email address right there. Oh no, look at that. You'll notice that once that I enter an email address, a new enrich button appears up at the top. That's because I have the lead enrichment feature activated. If I click this little button right there that says enrich, Odoo would use some of my credits to try and enrich this lead with information from an outside database. And that's in order to provide my sales team with even more information about the potential customer, such as company size, industry, that type of stuff. But they can't find any new info, no credits will be spent. For now, we're actually just going to move on with the information we currently have. We're not enriching. All right, so I know he's looking for more information about our table, so I'm actually going to add an information tag at the bottom just to give more flavor text right here. And since this contact was made by our pre-sales team leader, pre-sales team leader, small old doopsy there, his name is Mark for our pre-sales. Once that I do that, you'll notice even the sales team field automatically changed accordingly. And lastly... I want to leave an internal note right there. They want our super sweet tables. A lot of exclamations there. Now when we decide that this lead is qualified and worthy of our pipeline, we can actually quickly convert it to an opportunity by clicking the conveniently named Convert to Opportunity button up at the top. 
Once that we do that, something cool happens. Odoo pops us up with this little pop-up. Now in this form, we'll first decide which conversion action we want to take. The default convert to opportunity option or merge with existing opportunity. Since this is a brand new customer, we're going to leave it on the default convert to opportunity option. Moving down, we're going to confirm that the salesperson and the sales team fields are accurate, which they are. And then we're also going to check out, in our case, the customer options. We can create a new customer, link to an existing customer, and do not link to a customer. Now, because I just clicked create when I entered their name in the customer field, Odoo has already created them as a customer in our database. With that in mind, we're actually going to go with link to an existing customer right there. And we also ensure that the correct name is populated inside of the customer field down at the bottom, which it is great. Then when we're ready, we would click the create opportunity button down here. Doing so would convert the lead from an opportunity over into the new stage of our CRM pipeline complete with all the information we just entered. So it goes from a lead to an opportunity. Okay, now let's imagine our buddy Mitchell is trying to create a lead for the exact same customer. For that, we're gonna select new over here on our leads page. Now let's fill in the title and customer fields. Another lead for tables? Question mark right there. And our customer, Adam Sampleton. And you'll notice immediately as soon as I did that, the email field auto-populated over here as soon as I entered the customer. Then, once that I assign this as a high priority over here, by clicking the second star, we'll add another internal note as well. They're super interested, in all caps, in tables. It's really moving forward. At the top of the lead form, we have a similar lead smart button that suddenly popped up. Let's click that, and that informs us that we have a similar lead in our database. Now, inside of here, we'll see all of the leads that have similar contact information inside of our CRM as well as what stage that they're in. But let's go back over here to our opportunity. Now back on this lead form, we're actually gonna click convert to opportunity. And immediately you'll notice the conversion action itself is basically stating merge with existing opportunities off the bat. Not only that, but it shows us all the similar leads and opportunities down here at the bottom, including this one. As you can see, this is an excellent tool to keep our opportunities organized, which helps us avoid duplicate entries. Now, when I create this opportunity, Odoo is gonna basically merge all of these opportunities listed here. And let's assume that you realize, oh my God, Steve added a third one in here. And we've never had that on here because he misspelled something. I can also add leads or opportunities directly here by hitting add a line. And then I select any opportunity. We're gonna pick a random one, even though it's not Steve right there and hit select. Great, and boom, it's added to the list. To remove anything, all I have to do is hit the little X right there. So once that we did that, it's gone pretty fast. Okay, since we're happy with how everything's looking here, we're actually gonna go ahead and hit create an opportunity right there. And look at that. The opportunities are merged into one with all the info from each lead consolidated into a single opportunity. You also notice that in our case, the information tag actually carried over. And that's kind of cool. And we don't have them combined because the second one didn't have a tag. You'll also see the priority level from the second lead right there along with both of our internal notes down here. And this is honestly really cool. Now, real quick before we part ways, in our case, let's head back over to the leads page via the breadcrumb link. So we're gonna go back over to leads and I wanna show you something. Okay, now you've noticed this button over here that I've been kind of passing by, generate leads, right up here in the upper left. Now this button is also available on the main CRM pipeline dashboard as well. Now, if you don't see this button, that's probably because you don't have the lead mining setting activated inside of the CRM application, like we did at the beginning of this lesson. But once you activate that, you'll be good to go. All right. Now, when we click this generate leads button over here, Odoo presents us with a pop-up window we can fill out with customer criteria that we'd like Odoo to use. And that's in order to be able to generate some leads for us based on the contact data from an exterior database. We could choose how many companies we want Odoo to look, find for us. And we can even define countries, states, and other stuff such as industries we're hoping to generate leads for. In our case, you'll notice we could also click the companies field up here at the top, and we can also change it to companies and their contacts as well. Then we can even further choose to filter some of these things based on role of seniority or another option along with other roles that we might be interested in. Then once we've got everything filled out to our liking, we 
click generate leads right down there. And then Odoo would present us with a list of generated leads based on our requested criteria. It should be noted that much like the lead enrichment feature, in order to use the generate leads button, you must have Odoo credits. And I am poor, so I did not hit that button. So don't forget to go grab some before you give this a shot. And if you're not sure how to get Odoo credits, you can check out the documentation link in the description below to learn more. And we're done. Great work. There you have it, party people. Those are the ins and outs of leads. Lead management and lead mining using Odoo CRM. <laughs>